hi my dear friends another video from paradise isn't it amazing so beautiful the sun is um, rising a new day is starting I'm feeling a lot better uh, it's always uh, hard when the market goes down and um, yeah uh, and uh, especially if you didn't do the, the right moves just before it happens um, but um, yeah I got some time to um, well I was able to sell a little uh, before it collapsed more and um, we're now at uh, 75 billion but it bottomed out at uh, 61 billion um, maybe we're at 70 I have to check I think it's 70 or 75 anyways um, it doesn't matter all these numbers uh, the most important thing well it does matter but the most important thing is my investment style and I think it's uh, it's very interesting I'm very happy I learned that um, and, uh, and, and, and it's very simple uh, and, and this is something that everybody can apply uh, traders can apply it uh, but also entrepreneurs can apl apply it speculators can apply it it doesn't matter uh, what your line of uh, business is if it's about allocating resources uh, it's very very valuable and that's the Kelly criterion uh, the Kelly criterion uh, you should look it up uh, but you can use it in poker too um, it's basically the very simple rule to bet more based on your odds so if you have a very high chance to if the risk reward is very high you can bet big but if the risk reward is not so good or even bad eh, you should bet little or nothing and, and so that means that um, uh, for example um, if the price of an asset has gone up a lot then the potential reward is a lot lower because it already went up a lot and also the risk is up for a serious correction so basically the risk reward is a lot worse um, and, and you have to see these things for the long term and short term you can't just say oh but long term it still looks very good so let's ignore the short term yeah well if you're able to ignore your short-term um, uh, swings in your portfolio then well be my guest but I'm not able to do that when my portfolio drops in a day by 50% I will see it and I will feel very bad uh, so I think this this uh, you should always look at the long term and the short term and and you should um, of course um, and so you never you're all everything I most of the things if when you're an entrepreneur when the poker player it's always about uh, odds you don't you never know know for sure what the cards are for, from the other player or how things will turn out you always need some luck in life um, but there is a probability there is always a probability you can calculate on how high your odds are and how much luck you need to succeed and and your challenge is to lower as much uh, as uh, possible the luck you need and high have as high as uh, uh, much a probability of winning and and so um, uh, but 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 we all know that but what's also very important is is that you have to scale your your investment so even if the sometimes yeah the odds are low um, but, but, but the potential reward is very high and then you can also bet decently um, um, so for example you could say about cryptocurrency um, yeah okay uh, the, the odds are low right now uh, that it will go up in the short term 
but the potential reward is still very large um, so how much should I bet um, well you should bet less than if you can say mm, short term actually this could go up considerably and long term it can go up a lot more that's a much better position to be in um, uh, but but of course you also have m momentum playing um, and and that's the tricky part uh, when 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 you have momentum going in the short term it's always more probable that the momentum will continue but with these bull and bear markets with these bubbles um, it goes up parabolically so in the beginning the momentum is much weaker but after a while the momentum goes stronger and stronger and starts to go up more and more and more uh, on a weekly or monthly or daily basis the percentage increases and so it goes up like that and there comes a point where when it goes vertical that it will just drop off a cliff vertically too and so um, and so the, even though the momentum at the end is extremely strong it is also an like it becomes more and more probable it's going to collapse the momentum is going to reverse in the other direction and we just saw that um, but it's also like it's not clear it wasn't clear and, and and what's so typical about these bubbles is you always get fooled and I got fooled again eh? right at the top right at the top eh? Allez, very close to the top I I change my mind and I raise my targets uh, I suspected to go higher eh? uh, my target was months many many months actually since the start of the year like 2000 300 probably the peak will be around end 2000 and then when it breaches 2300 around 2500 say no 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 momentum is too strong uh, this is gonna go higher than that it's gonna breach 3000 it's gonna go to end 3000 and um, and so so and you start to do again research and you start to find reasons why it will go higher and I did that too I shared the video right before the collapse where uh, I said look uh, I, got, I found some good evidence that the market could go up a lot higher <laughs> and uh, well, I was wrong um, so um, it's it's very hard and that's why the Kelly criterion is very helpful because it really um, it forces you to think more rationally um, a risk reward ratio if you have to really study the risk reward ratio um, well it's it, it is it is just very true that that if you study the past uh, how these bubbles go it's always in booms and busts and so um, I mean the risk is much low, uh, lower when it has gone down a lot then the risk is much lower because it already went down a lot huh? and it can like probably it won't go up immediately probably it goes first gonna go sideways but when it has gone down a lot and it has been going sideways a lot then the risk that it goes lower is a lot less but there will be a lot of fear in the market but the risk is not that high anymore and there is a, a high potential reward huh? however if it has gone up a lot and then sideways well uh, a lot of the people are bullish uh, and everybody falls into it even the most experienced ones but you have to admit to yourself that yeah, okay we're certainly not anymore at the valuations of half a year ago or so eh? and so the risk has gone up a lot and the potential reward yeah in the long term I, we can see see the trillions still uh, uh, the trillions are still possible but short term I mean uh, it can only double from here before we have a serious correction so it cannot do times 10 anymore so the potential reward is also a lot lower eh? so the risk reward to ratio is a lot worse and so it's rational to invest a lot less 
as a percentage of your portfolio into this as when you invested some time ago. Um, and so, because typically you invest in something and it, if it's successful, it will grow a lot as a percentage of it in your portfolio. And so, um, but yeah, if you always ask yourself the question, how much do I want to bet on this? And you apply the Kelly criterion, and you have to say like, okay, what's the risk reward ratio of this investment, long term and short term? Then and you, have to, and you, you have to compare it with some other investments. Then, um, then yeah, you will always come to the conclusion that um, you should, um, uh, yeah, you, you you should not buy. You should sell, uh, or or certainly not buy. Eh? And then, um, and so so that's very very helpful. It has been very helpful for me, and uh, and even then uh, I still make mistakes. But um, yeah, I hope it's very helpful for you too. And then uh, maybe something about uh, other investments because well, the bear uh, is here now. I think uh, I mean the chance has become very low. The, uh, the bull market would, would continue. It has now gone up to 90% that, that the bear has started, started and will continue to be here for a couple of months. Um, so so uh, the, the good thing about this is that, uh, that I can finally start focusing on, uh, on, on, on investing the, the, the profits I was able to lock in because yeah, the, 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 the crypto market took all my attention but now I will not have to be doing anything anymore for a while in the crypto market and 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 just um, well probably see what I have invested in it uh, go down for a while um, so I think other interesting investments that I'm looking at is um, the Roland van Damme portfolio uh, this is something I've been talking about uh, my older videos from a couple of years back but uh, he's a, 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 a precious metals investor so his, his portfolio he shares that in, in a newsletter but it's Dutch so but it costs only like two three hundred euro a year and 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 it's Dutch and he shares his portfolio and he has average returns of about 20% per year uh, since 20, uh, 2001 so now for 15 years on average has amazing returns uh, in the fiat world and uh, and uh, and so so that's why I, I I'm, I'm thinking of copying his portfolio, and then um, and and so it's mainly gold uh, in his portfolio, but he also has like uh, other uh, precious metals, uh, silver, um, but now also palladium and platinum. Um, uh, is uh, and uh, there's another one too, um, rhodium. He's very bullish on that, so. So I plan to buy these things and he has also some uh, mining uh, companies and some other companies in his portfolio. Um, and so this is what I'm planning to do. Um, I, of course I look at other investments too, like for example land um, is interesting sometimes but or real estate. But the problem of most investments is that, that there are opportunities but you have to know the market. and, and it's so difficult to really know the market. It requires so much time uh, to study it and, and become good in it, and and so and so that's why uh, I probably will just be following someone else's portfolio because I just don't want to like um, I, I, I I really want to try to outsource as much as possible uh, and 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 um, and, and yeah. So, so, so that's my plan for uh, diversification, um, and maybe some fun toys too. Uh, we will see. Huh? Um, so, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Um, there is a great book about the Kelly Criterion, um, and um, it's um, uh, how to beat the markets. How to beat the market? Um, I will post the link below on the YouTube uh, comment, um, in the YouTube description. Um, 
and I also post um, because the guy that learned it to me is not uh, Kelly that's actually a professor but but it's another guy um, uh, Edward Torp he 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 he's he's a great investor he has had a hedge fund and uh, but basically he really um, discovered the Kelly criterion and applied it to poker but also applied it to investing and 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 and, and, and wrote a book about it how to beat the market and uh, it's really um, uh, uh, a worthwhile li read it's already uh, 30 40 years old but it ha it it um, yeah it's it's just a very very important principle of investing bye guys